so this format's full of a bunch of overpowered lists, you know, kind of uh, proactive lists. Um, it seems pretty powerful, right? Especially in best of one, it's just it's just really ridiculous. Like you can't do anything in best of one, so you have to like meta game, main board. It doesn't really make sense, right? Let's rock. Let's rule. Okay, we only have one land, this. They go first. Um, I'm gonna keep this greedy hand, I don't know. We draw two lands, everything's great. If we don't, you know, it is what it is. Okay, so we can do this. We can go get... We don't have the, do we have blue-white? Yeah, we have a blue-white, we have Hall of Fountain, right? We can go get that. Oh, we need black, black, Blue, I guess. Black, white? Yeah, black, white. Let's do this, actually. That's better play. See what they got. Okay. They're gonna ramp into something here. We take their ramp. Target player shuffles three cards from their graveyard into their library. It's kinda cool. This is good against Mill, I guess, right? So they're playing that against Mill. I wonder if we could play a silver bullet one of those in, uh, in our deck against Mill. That could be pretty good. And then if we draw it, we just cast it and then we shuffle our library back in. This is great. Um, we can go get the Surveil land. I'm not sure what they're up to. They're probably going to ramp into like Titan or something. They have blue-green. They might be playing Show and Tell. I don't, I don't know what they're up to here. We play. They have a lot of land. One unknown. This is pretty cool. Gaze Blessing seems like really good tech, actually. They must have got milled out, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we need the blue black. Here it is. Sewers. Do we want a Thoughtseize or do we want to dig for a land? I think we want to dig for a land, in all honesty. Because if they have another land here, it's just, I don't know. That's not very good for us, hey? Okay, well, we kept a greedy hand, it's, it's totally fine. That's how we roll sometimes. I don't know about the Thoughtseize there, it's certainly better to, to pitch it, I think. We might die. It's okay. We have Shieldred's Edict up. Not sure what threats they're gonna play. Here it is. Indestructible, as long as your devotion at the beginning of your end step, exile. So it blinks? Only in blue though? Okay. It's a god and it. It, we can't, they can't, is it an enchantment? It's an enchantment. So it doesn't do anything. Like, a, this doesn't do anything to them. This is pretty cool. Okay, so we can't do anything. Okay, so they don't, they don't have anything to blink. We need to land. Uh-oh. Okay, we can discard Lingering Souls, though. We have three copies, right? And we can play it next turn. It's a bit interesting. We can shield the Edict. A creature, we can counter a non-creature. I'm surprised they didn't play Gaze Blessing earlier. It is what it is. Okay, that's very good. So, we can make them discard two. We could play Lingering Souls here. We could play Lingering Souls here. Um, I kind of like playing Lingering Souls here, because then if we draw land, we can play it twice. So we'll go get... Maybe, uh, we have double, double swamp. Are they going to stifle us? They could have actually Tashana Tidebinder, but we could have in response. No, it still would have countered the, the thing. So, I don't think we want to take any damage. Did we just get a blue here? We have double black. Sure. We don't want to take too much damage. We can play these. They might counter it. They have two unknowns. It is what it is. It's a good win condition. Their their list is interesting for sure. They can Vantress end of turn. Look at this. This is over top of the card. That's so cool, because it's like growing. 
I don't want to hover over Vantress. I, I know what it does. It pay four and then scry two. Is that what it is? They, they're hovering over it, so. I think it's scry two. Yeah. Seems very good. Menace or surveil too? Wow. Are they going to print these with a surveil? Two on the bottom. Okay, they're really digging for something. They have a lot of, uh, a lot of lands and they need blue source, so. Oh, that's what they So now we can go blank their graveyard. Which seems pretty good, actually. That's so cool. Euro. Are they going to play Euro from the graveyard right now? Yeah. That's pretty good. No, they can't. They cannot. So they could Gaia's Blessing, but then it shuffles their list, right? It shakes their... It shook, it shook it all. That's kind of interesting. That kind of helps us, right? Because they, sho they shook their Euro in. It's interesting. If we draw a land, we could... I don't know. They, they could play Oko right now, hey? I mean... We have... Our list is so much well... Uh, so... Such better... So much better prepared for, like, this entire metagame. We could make them discard too still. Because we don't really have anything. We could, we could play a third Lingering Souls. I don't really want to do that. We could just go blank two of their cards. We have two copies of go blank, right? So... We can attack for this. We could make them discard two and then wipe their graveyard. From your library? Oh, okay, if they cast it, it doesn't actually work. Then we could go blank again. That's okay. We could also just play Lingering Souls from the hand again, or just one of these. Um... I don't know, I kind of like this. Maybe we should have put the threats and then attacked 4 4 4 4 4. It is what it is. They can pay for it to tap another creature. This could be good. Their list is interesting. This could be good just to gain some life. Um, I mean, they have this rare and they have Euro and stuff, so. Okay, it was another copy of this. And the land. Okay. They, oh man, that's really good. Forever? They gain control of target permanent? What happened? Here? Oh my god. Wow. Holy fuck. We don't have any land anymore. That's so ridiculous. Wow. No way. I think we die. Don't we just fucking die? We just die. We'll never play a land again. They're gonna just steal our land every single turn. Holy crow, that's so cool. That was... Wow. That was such a cool combo. Wow, what in the world was that? That was so neat. Okay, well... <laughs> win some, lose some. That's neat. Well, we were stuck off land, though. Um, still, that was awesome. I don't think we want these... I don't think we want any of this. So we want, like, these creatures. Wow, that was really cool. Jeez. I don't know what to tell you about that. That was awesome. Um, they had a lot of creatures. That was, that was amazing. We got, we got owned by that. That combo. Landy, we would have been able to hold up um, an edict, so they wouldn't have been able to blink it, at least. But that was pretty spectacular. So what do we need here? Um, is this or the one ring against them? I don't, I don't know about that. I think we're just going to die to that thing. I, I really think we should take this out of the list. Okay. Um, just like one of these. Well, I guess in all honesty, this is just better than like maybe two of these and then remove one of these. Okay. Wow, that was awesome. That was super cool. 
I mean, we, we got a mid mana screwed there, but they also, you know, that was really, really cool. Um, okay. I don't know if we're going to really attack their, their land, or their, you know, their mana base, but we could try that. We could try to get to, so we need a blue-white, so meticulous. It's a meticulous archive, so it is. Oh, I gotta stop tapping on the table. Get this. Then we do nothing. Wow, that was so good. Agent of Treachery. Oh my goodness. Is that what it was? Agent of Treachery? Amazing. Very impressive. And then they blink it? <laughs> Yikes. And then we just... We only were stuck on one man for the entire game. It's incredible. I'm so meticulous. Is that what we want, though? Yeah. And then we can go get a blue block. I think it's okay. And we don't need that. Like, we're gonna draw... We'll probably draw another land at some point. Like, there we are. So... I think we just do this. And say go. Yeah. Wow, that was amazing. Hmm. Seems okay. So we could shield or Zedict um, end of turn. I think that's pretty good. I don't know if they're going to cast anything else. We could also... Yeah, I think it's okay. Then next turn we can play this tapped. Or we could go get another Surveil Land. So we go get a... I still think it's blue-black. Play this. Yeah, we could play that. We could do nothing. I think we should play this. So just it is what it is. Let me start gaining some life, and we have a two-three. Certainly never played against this matchup. Um, it's pr very interesting. Um. We could do nothing, and then hold up Counterspell, and then Slam Shield with the turn after. I'm kind of worried, like, what are they going to do? They're going to... They could do all sorts of things. They could counter our Shield as well, right? So... I kind of don't think they're going to. This is going to slam this. Yeah, I think it's fine. Then they might play Euro, they might play that God, they might do some stuff, and then we have Counterspell up. They're like, hovering over our thing. I wonder if they can kill Shieldred somehow, they can... I hope they don't gain control of it somehow. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. They have a very creative list that... Wow. It attacked our land base pretty good. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Now we have two Counterspells up, so... We should be in pretty good shape, hopefully. Yeah. Their deck is very cool. So we can play this. We can Inquisition them. Flying, draw a card. Same thing, eh? We could take this, and then what do they have here? Two? I think we take this. Does this exile? Oh, it doesn't? Okay. I think we do that. They have these, eh? Okay. It's very cool. Very cool. I mean, if they play this, you could just let them draw. It's kind of this, exactly the same thing as 
them attacking or them us and then we don't waste our counter spell like it's fine right because it's a two three so then they draw and they take two damage here and then they might play another one so then we can like counter that i don't know i don't even know if we do what's this risen reef I still think it's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then we can go get, um, I don't know, something. Shadowy? Mm -hmm. Is that good? Is that even good? Um,. I don't think that's even good. We're just going to counter Agent of Treachery next turn. We can still play this, though. We certainly attack with this. If we attack with this, they have to double block it, which they might. This, they're going to chump block it, so, okay. So we want to push that 4 damage. And then we should win if they try to age in a treachery. It can be countered, right? <laughs> I mean, it's a freaking problem if it can't be countered. Yeah, okay, that does make sense. They just want to slow the game down. So they go to 5. I think they just die next turn and all. Let's see if they catch age in a treachery. Because we have Counterspell. Agent of Treachery. Deck. This is pretty good here. They could cast Euro as well. Maybe we just counter this when the game ends. Don't counter our thing. That would be dreadful. Oh, I guess we have Dovin's Veto up. I'm just, uh, <laughs> it's pretty scary. Hmm? Just a big problem. Okay, so we can demonic tutor for Thoughtseize. No, we can demonic tutor for go blank. Hilarious. And then we discard two and then wipe their this. Absolutely. So it discards their hand and then it wipes the arrow from the graveyard. Oh, that's really good. Okay, so I don't know. They could draw Agent of Treachery off the top. It's a big fucking problem if they do. Holy crow, that was, I mean, the game didn't end. So, that was pretty good. Their list is really cool. Um, what can we do here? They have a bunch of creatures. They just have creatures. So we could attack their land base, like, take out... I don't, I don't know if I like that. It's pretty cool. Very cool. I don't think we need these. We need this. They just have a bunch of creatures. Hmm. We're going to play the Fatal Push? I don't know about that. Go play one of these. Okay. Pretty cool list, definitely. Really neat. Very cool. Game three here. Game three. Holy curly. Gotta stop doing all sorts of things. Banging on the table. Uh, this seems kind of okay. I mean, the game's going to go pretty slowly, in all honesty. I guess it's fine. <sighs> Interesting list over there, no question. They kept. We might lose here. Okay, that's pretty good, actually. Uh-oh. Uh we don't have double black. 
I didn't really think about this. So we have a time warp. I think we take this. This is pretty cool. Let's take this. We could have taken Risen Reef. It's kind of the same thing. Might have been better to take the Risen Reef. Actually, no. I think it's good. They probably played the Gaze Blessing. I don't see why not. We need a Black Source. Yeah, they just draw a card with this, right? What happened there? Oh, they shuffled and drew. That is really good. We just play this. Time Warp. <laughs> My goodness. So, so cool. Did they play Risen Reef here? Mm -hmm. I think we attack. Then we play the Lingering Souls. We just do. And then the next turn we Thought Seize and play Murderous Rider. They might chump block here. Okay. So we play this. We play the Lingering Souls. Now we can uh, we can attack. And now we need to Thought Seize them next turn. Yeah. It's pretty good. They can time time warp next turn. Oh, that's so good. Wow, that's so good. So I think we thought he's right now. Otherwise we play Lingering Souls and then counter. We could do that too. Uh let's attack. It's a tough game here. Uh, that, you know, we're gonna have to counter a bunch of things. I kind of like Thoughts using the Time Warp instead of countering it because we want to counter like Agent of tre Treachery or something. This is an interesting game for sure. They didn't attack last turn? Guess not. Um, so do we Thoughts use them? And then we can Lingering Souls or Hold Up Counterspell? I think he thought he's them. They can't play Euro. There's that agent. Oh, I just forgot I want to get this out of here. Seven. Because next turn they can do this. They can flash this in right now. I don't think they can get to seven. They have five, right? So then I think we just take this. Do we care if they time warp? It's kind of, I don't know. It's like one for one for one. Yeah, yeah, I'm aware of our goal. So, if we take this, then they flash this in, then they can draw a card. If we take this, then they time warp next turn, and then nothing. And then we can counter the Agent of Treachery. Um, hmm. We just take this, I think. Um, I think we then cast this. Mm -hmm. It's a sorcery. That's an instant? Uh oh. Do we die? If they draw into a land and then a land, we die. Uh oh. Nice, they didn't draw land, thank goodness. They also didn't flash in the spec, the sailor, spectral sailor. Now we're in a pretty good spot, I think. 
What's this? Holy crow. Okay. Okay. So it's this. Then we can swing all in. Then they flash something in and jump block, I guess. This is an interesting game for sure. This blue green deck is pretty cool. They have four with this though. I mean, we can kill this though after it comes in and draws a card. Agent of Treachery, we're gonna counterspell. They can flash in the Sailor. I don't wanna kill it. They just kind of refuse to, to attack with the Risen Reef when we're out there. So now, we're going to counter Agent of Treachery. I think it's pretty good. They can... Each player draws a, draws one card. That's pretty good. They didn't flash in the, the Spectral Sailor? We could play Murderous Rider right now. It's an interesting game, holy curly. So they can fully go fancy. Mm -hmm. We both draw a card. Sure. have the land for the thing, for the agent. I think we just do it. We counter it, we counter it, right? They could use like a Cavern of Souls or something in their list. What are all these things? Spirit, Pirate, Elemental, Human Rogue. Okay, it doesn't really work. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, it's not the end of the world now that, you know, we're not stuck on one land, but it's still pretty good. Their list is really cool. Very creative. Thoughtseize. So we could Thoughtseize them. We could also just attack. They could play Euro next turn and then we could kill it with the Murderous Rider. I don't know. We could Inquisition them so we don't take damage. I'm not too worried about damage. Um, because if we Inquisition them and they have something bigger, we're going to have to Thought Seize them again. And then we can't murder us Rider, so we should just Thought Seize them. Uh-huh. Are you going to rope us? Don't rope us, guys. Okay. Quite a lot of damage here. They don't, they just refuse to block. Oh, okay. So I think we Thought Seize them. Just in case, right? They can play Euro next turn, then we can kill it with Murderous Rider. We'll take that. Yeah, I guess, right? Sure. They go to eight. We're just bashing though with these, you know, with the, it's it's to plan. <laughs> this game's very interesting. Yes, yeah, so they're playing Euro. So. Should probably kill it right now. Put this stuff on the stack. I don't know. You know. I don't know what else they can do. Like, I don't want them to draw a card and then I don't know. Then we try to murderous rider it. Or swift end it. Okay. Okay. 
And now they don't have anything in their graveyard, so they can't cast Euro again. But they did go to 8, and they do draw a card. And they do put a land into play. So they're playing Time Warp. They're playing Agent of Treachery. And we are... I don't know. Then they have, like, draw a card. They have this folio of fancies to draw two cards. Super interesting deck. Is game three here? Can we get there? Very interesting game. I like my teas in the other room, so I like have to get up quite often. It's nice. Okay. Yep. So they take four, go to eight, or go to pardon me. They take four, go to four. They're at eight, go to four. Mhm. Mm they can draw two cards off Folio. They can draw a card off Spectral Sailor. Probably the Folio. Well, the Folio makes us draw two cards. So maybe they'll draw just off Spectral Sailor while it's still in play. So now the question is, do we Inquisition them and play Lingering Souls, or we play Double Lingering Souls? Double Lingering Souls is pretty reasonable. Do we play Murderous Rider, do we... We could just Inquisition them, and then play one Lingering Souls. And we're gonna watch, like, our Eminent Doom. It was a very cool deck by them. We get to see what they have. So they can only draw two cards. And they make us draw two cards. So the question is, do we do nothing? And then hopefully those two cards we have a counterspell? Or do we go kind of a more all-in strategy? Because they can't cast Euro from the graveyard. They only have two in it. Growth Spiral. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay, so that's what they drew. So they don't have anything. So now the question is, do we do nothing and then let them draw one, or do we just play Lingering Souls? I kind of like this. I don't know. It is what it is. See what they get. Are they going to Folio? Yep. So they have two draws here. Maybe a bit more if they draw on... Yeah. Very cool game here. The opponent's list is really neat. They like they play like cultivate, grow spiral. They ramp. They have euro. They just ramp into agent of treachery to take our. They took our land game one, and then we got stuck. <laughs> we got stuck because we kept a greedy hand. So let's see how the OBS looks. We do cover up their name this way. It's pretty good. Um, so I've put my name in the top left corner of, right, and it does cover their name up, and we can still see. It does show like exactly the um, the match wins here. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Interesting game here. I'm not sure what to say. I, I'm just kind of I'm kind of concerned we're gonna lose the game somehow. We bounce all our creatures. They could time walk right now. They have time warp. They have time warp. It's really neat. Okay, Spectral Sailor. I don't know if they can do anything now. Yeah, now they die. Uh, maybe not. They have three cards. They have like a fog? Oh, that's GG. This is a good game, right? This is a really cool match, for sure. I really enjoyed that match. It's very, like, stressful. We did Demonic Tutor for the Go, the go Blank. Should we just play it? I was just, that's so funny, that's top of mind. We did Demonic Tutor for Go Blank because it removed the Euro in the other game. Because it's, it's game three here. We lost game one and then game two we... I think it's a good game. I don't, I don't want to say that and then it's knock a game. That'd be kind of just rude. Quick game. Okay, I'm glad you won that game because the deck is so cool. Um, very interesting. 